And welcome to another award-winning edition of Ducks No Sports. This week, we're talking about week 15 of the NFL. It should be interesting. It's a lot of big games this week and a lot of like six, seven games that can really affect the uh, playoffs and playoffs are near. You know, uh, three more weeks of action, then we got playoffs. So about four weeks, we'll play off action. And I'll be good because NFL playoffs are some of the best playoffs, in my opinion, out there in all sports. But our first match of the week, we're going to talk about the Thursday night. That's the Cincinnati Bengals travel to Philadelphia to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, should be an interesting one. I mean, uh, Cincinnati, you know, very interesting year for Cincinnati. A very up and down year. You know, got off to that red hot start, you know, really played well start of the year, then kind of did a dip during the whole season, but then can't, you know, sort of come back the last couple of weeks, but of course losing last week to Dallas. Um, and Cincinnati, basically they control their own destiny, as you hear a lot during this time of the year. I really think Cincinnati will make the playoffs. I really think they are a dangerous team when they get there. Because I don't think there's one team in the um, in the AFC that wants to see this team. I mean, with a healthy Andy Dalton, AJ Green, probably the best young QB receiver duo right now in the NFL. I mean, so dangerous and on defense, such such an underrated defense. I mean, this they can get after the passer, they can pick balls off. Very very well coached defense there in Cincinnati. And like I said, the Bengals are, in my opinion, a dark horse to win the Super Bowl this year. If they get in, and if they win out, they will make the playoffs. And I think they will because they're playing a team in Philadelphia who, yes, shows that maybe there's still a little bit of life left in them as they won last week against Tampa Bay. But pretty much this team has checked has checked out, and pretty much the U-Haul has already come in Philadelphia. And pretty sad because I really thought this was a team, start of the year, that could have a good shot to go to the, AFC, the NFC Championship game. And they've, they've just disappointed from start to finish. And, you know, Nick Foles, you know, hasn't played great since he's come in for Michael Vick, but hasn't played horrible. And there might be something there, you know, who knows? You know, maybe next year he can be your starter. Who knows? Only time will tell. But I really like what Nick Foles has done this year. I think he has earned a spot, at least, maybe not a starter next year, but at least a spot on the team ne- next year. And uh, we'll see how Philadelphia ends the last three games because they could really affect the playoffs. In a way, because, you know, it's still Dallas, they still have New York on their schedule. So, you know, it will be interesting how they play the last, you know, three games. But um, this week, I just think you're going to see a driven, hungry Cincinnati team who still has a shot at the playoffs. And I really think you'll see a team show up. I know Philadelphia isn't the, you know, Philadelphia isn't the best place to play. You know, but I think Cincinnati Bengals, Andy Dalton, and A.J. Green come, and I think they put on a show I think the Cincinnati Bengals get it done on Thursday Night Football on NFL Network. Our next match of the week, which in my opinion is probably the biggest match of the week, as the defending champions, New York Giants, travel to the Georgia Dome to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Start the Giants, you know. The Giants, you know, this is their time of the year. You know, November they usually struggle, then December, January, that's their time of the year. This is when Eli Manning really starts to show why he is an elite QB, you know, in this league. I know always gets it done. Something about the Giants. They always seem to get it done this time of the year. By hook or by crook, they always get it done this time of year. You know, Eli Manning. Um, not saying he's had a bad year, but he hasn't had a great year by any means. And for this team to be successful on offense, they have to be more balanced like they've been the last couple of weeks, and that's running the football with Bradshaw. And if they can run the football with Bradshaw this week, I think they'll have a chance to beat a very good Atlanta team. And also, and uh, something else Atlanta has to look out for is those, you know, that inside guy in Cruz, so tough to stop because he's a matchup a nightmare because he's in the slot. And the Knicks, you know, has come back and has looked pretty healthy and looked pretty well the last couple of weeks since he's returned from his injury. And the Giants, you know, the Giants are still, they still like, like Con Coughlin said, they need to win out to probably win their division because the Redskins are hot on their heels. You know, Dallas sells a shot at this. So there's no, it's not a given that the Giants are going to win the uh, East. And they're playing a team, they're playing a pissed off Atlanta Falcon team right now for, a, for, for two reasons. One reason, what happened to them in the playoffs last year against these same Giants where they put up two points. You know, a lot of words came up in that organization like, you know, unacceptable and disappointment. You know, didn't have their best showing last January as, you know, 
was one of the best offenses in the league. Put up two points. That's that's a that's out. I mean, that's amazing. And they get only put up two points. And it's such a great offense. And last week, you know, went to Carolina. You know, maybe took Carolina a little too lightly. Maybe I don't know what it was maybe coming off the big win from the Saints. Maybe looking to the Giants this week. Who knows? But the Panthers came to play last week, and Atlanta Falcons did not. And a lot of players have basically come out this week and said that's unacceptable. They're not going to play that way again this year. They're not going to take anything for granted. And this team is still the number one team in the NFC, still getting no respect. But I really think Atlanta, this is, Atlanta could show us something this week. If they beat down the New York Giants, that will be a statement win for Atlanta Falcons. I think this is going to happen this week, I think. At home, Matt Ryan never seems to lose. You got Julio Jones, you got Roddy White, you got Tony Zgalas. You know, the running game is starting to get going with with, with Turner and Rodgers and Schnelling. So I really believe in the Atlanta Falcons this week, and I think the Atlanta Falcons have a statement win this week. I think the Atlanta Falcons come on top in this one and beat the New York Giants in the Georgia Dome. Our next matchup. Oh, this will be a juicy one. A little NFC North bloodbath as the Green Bay Packers travel to Chicago take on the struggling Chicago Bears start with the Packers you know the Packers are starting to come on hot the last couple of weeks you know they're really starting to show kind of the same way they came on hot a couple of years ago in the Super Bowl I mean and right now I think they're in the driver's seat to win the North if they beat the Bears this week I think they'll be a given that they're going to win the North I mean, the Packers, like, how do you stop them right now? I mean, Aaron Rodgers is on top of his game. You know, you know, all his great receivers. And this, their only weakness, I will say, is their defense. Still giving up the big yards, but they seem to get the key stop at the key time. You know, like last week, this is what I liked about the Packers last week. They get down 14 nothing early against the Lions, but they don't panic. Aaron Rodgers, that calm leader, just like Brett Favre was, leads them back down the field, gets them back in the game, and the Green Bay Packers run away with the game. And that's why I think the Packers, they are an elite team in this league. And I really believe there's no one in the NFC will want to play the Packers because they've got so many weapons and a defense, which isn't great, but just gets the job done week in and week out. But they're playing the rivals this week in the Chicago Bears. And let's be honest, I've been pretty big on the Bears this year. I really thought the Bears really had a good shot to make the playoffs start of the year. And then I really thought midway through they had a I thought them and the Falcons would be a dead, dead on collision to me in the NFC Championship game, but the Bears are not playing well. They fall all the way down the sixth seed. And it's not a given the Bears even make the playoffs at this point. Forget about winning the North. It's not a given they even make the playoffs at this point. And let's be honest, the last, you know, four weeks, they have not played well. You know, uh, Seattle's beat them. You know, Minnesota beat them and how they beat them just by running the football. It seems to be their weakness right now. Is that if you, you can run on the Chicago Bears, which we haven't really been saying for the last decade about the Bears, but you can run on the Bears now. And I don't know what it is, but this defense is struggling hard right now. Is it because of Earl? I think a lot of it has to do because of Erlacher's out. And I think this team needs Erlacher back in that lineup for this team to be successful. <coughs> and for this team to get back on track this week, I think they got to get back to the basics. That's just, I think, less Jay Cutler and more Matt Forte. I think they got back to running the football and have Jay Cutler just throw enough. He does need to throw it 50 times a game for this team to win a game. He's not that kind of quarterback they need to. He needs to be more of a game manager. Hand the ball off to Forte and let your defense do what your defense does. But all being said, though, I think Green Bay is just playing too hot right now. It's in Chicago. It's not going to be easy. But I just think Green Bay kind of has Chicago's number right now, and I believe the Green Bay Packers win another one in Soldier Field and beat the Bears this week. Our next matchup we're going to focus on is the San Francisco 49ers traveling to New England to take on the Red Hot New England Patriots. Um, San Francisco's quarterback situation right now is a mess. No, they don't really. I don't, I don't know if they even know who their starting quarterback is going to be right now. I mean, they benched Alex Smith a couple weeks ago for... Papernick, and let's be face it, he has not produced. He's not, besides a game here, game there, has not really played that well. And I think, hate to say it, because I think they got to go back to Alex Smith for them to be successful in the playoffs. I mean, this team has a chance, still win the NFC, has a great shot, maybe still go to the Super Bowl, but 
Alex Smith has to be the starting quarterback because he seems to get the job done more than Papernick has been getting it done. So we'll see because this team still has a great defense and they can still run the football, but the quarterback is going to kill them. That's the only thing. The quarterback position is going to kill them. And I just believe that the uh, San Francisco 49ers to win Super Bowl or even win the NFC, they're going to need Alex Smith to be the guy. And if Alex Smith goes back in game, I think he might have shot the Super Bowl. But if they're going to still go with this young kid, I don't. I think they'll have no chance in hell when they get to the playoffs. And they're going to need a chance this week because they are playing a New England Patriots team who, let's be honest, last week's game was a statement for the Pats. For the Pats, and I really believe that the, the like there's nobody better in the AFC right now than the New England Patriots. Like, I mean, you got the Ravens, who seem seem to be a mess right now. You got the Texans, who are a good team, but seem can't to be any any good teams. And you got the Broncos. Well, it's, I like the Broncos, but they're but they're overrated. Let's face it. I think, and the Bronco team, who seem can't to be good teams. So it'll be interesting what happens, in AFC. But to me, like New England, like Tom Brady's on a different level. I mean, we're talking about who's the best quarterback in the league right now. It's hands down Tom Brady. I mean, maybe Aaron Rodgers, but it's hands down Tom Brady in my opinion, because this guy just he just picks any defense apart. Like he. Like last week against the Houston Texans, that was a good defense, and he just picked them apart like 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 they're the Detroit Lions. Like it was ridiculous, and I really think they will continue. Um, I strain this week as I don't think San Francisco is that good, as they're advertised, and going on the road to a tough place to play in New England. It's good. It's gonna be cold. Let's see how the California team deals with that. And Tom Brady loves beating up on his favorite ch childhood team. Of course, they passed him on the draft years ago. So I believe with all those factors, we the New England Patriots beat the San Francisco 49ers. And I think this will be a close game, but this will maybe be a classic, but the Patriots get the job done. All right, rest of our matches this week. Washington at Cleveland. I will take the Redskins because I think RG3 will return and the Redskins get it done. Oh, the Colts at Houston. I will take the Houston Texans to bounce back. Jacksonville at Miami. I'll take Miami. Denver at Baltimore. Hey, don't stand too close to Baltimore because that thing's ready to blow. So I'll take Denver Broncos. Get it done against the Baltimore Ravens. Minnesota at St. Louis. I will take Minnesota to get it done. I think they were on the ball with Pearson again. And they will continue to on their surge to make the playoffs. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. I will take Tampa Bay. To keep their playoff hopes alive. Detroit at Arizona. I will take the Lions to get it done. Uh, Seattle at Buffalo. Um, usually, you know. Uh, I like Buffalo at home because of the crazies. But they're not home this week. They're in Toronto. And it goes from a very loud stadium to a very quiet stadium. So I will take the Seattle Seahawks to get it done. Carolina at the Chargers. I will take the Chargers at home. Kansas City at Oakland, I will take the Oakland Raiders, who have been playing all right the last couple weeks. I'll take the Oakland Raiders. Pittsburgh at Dallas, I will take Pittsburgh to get it done, because I think Pittsburgh needs to win this game to keep their playoff hopes alive. New York Jets at Tennessee on Monday night, I'll take the Tennessee Titans. And remember, keep track of my picks, as last week I went an all right, 8-8, eight and eight, to bring my overall record to 135-70. And one. But till next time, I'm Aaron Ducks for a second. I'm Ducks. And I know sports. Yeah, I know.